Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Django. Now in the last video we have worked with a design, basically we were handling the static files and then we were able to manage it, you know. So if you want to see the output, this is what we have achieved, right? Again, this is not a design which we have created from scratch. We got this template and then we are running this with the help of Django. Now all the data here which you can see is static, which means you have this data. In fact, when I say static data, I'm talking about the words here. You can see the images, uh, the, the words, like we have Bali here, uh, the price, everything is static. If you want to change something in future, you have to edit your HTML files. In fact, nowadays you want to change the data continuously. Maybe let's say this, this price here will be very dynamic. So every hour it is changing. So can we just change these images after every one hour without touching the HTML files? Maybe this data will be coming from database. So that means you want to make this data dynamic and it should be coming from somewhere, not from the actual HTML page. Yes, the layout will be fixed, the colors, and then again, you can change that. But I don't want to touch the layout, but at least the words and the images. So I want to pass this data from a Python code because Python is a programming language, so you can do some processing there. And you can fetch this data from anywhere as we have discussed before. You can fetch it from database, you can fetch this from the live stream, from anywhere you want. So once you have data in Python, you can simply pass it here in the HTML. Okay, but how? First of all, we need to generate data in this view, okay, in this views.py. So just to show you how we can do that, we can simply give a comma. So if you remember, when you call index.html, so basically uh, the request goes to the server and says, hey, we, we want a home page. So this is the function which you will get execute and this will render your page. Now when you say rendering, it will give you the page with the data which you want. So data I want is, I want to change the price there. So I will just give a, a dictionary here and I will say price. And in this price, I will mention the price as let's say $700. Okay, so in fact, we have done this before. So if you see, I want to change this, this Bali price from 679 to 700. So in order to do that, we just have to go to index.html. So we are passing the data now from the views. So here we have to change it. Okay, so first of all, I have to check where I have mentioned that price. You can see the price is here. I hope this is for Bali. Yes, it's for Bali. And here I will mention the price as $700. The, the moment I change that, if I go back here, you can see, oh, we got an error. Okay, I can't say 700. I don't want to say 700. First of all, there is an error here. I should be giving a colon, but not the comma. Okay, so I want the price to dynamic. So instead of saying 700, I would simply say, so we, we have used this before, right? This is the Jinja format. So here I will say price, right? It's that simple. You just go there, go back and say refresh. And you can see we got everything. We got a page, but this time the price is 700 and we are passing it from the actual Python code. But now I just don't want to pass the price. I also want to pass all the data. In fact, the images, the name from the Python code. Now think about this. If you want to pass all this information, so every destination, so you can see we have six destinations here, right? We have Bali, Indonesia, San Francisco, and this goes on. I want to pass every, every destination will have certain data. It has an image here. Uh, it will have a name like we have Bali here and then we have a description to it and then we have a price okay so we have four fields we have images name description and price so we have to pass this four detail for each destination so in total we have to pass 24 data 24 fields so we can say a uh, first destination image first destination name first destination description and so, and so on second uh, second destination image so we, we have to pass 24 values on a list. Now what makes sense is to create a class object. So basically whenever you have this you know, combination of data, so instead of having 24 variables, we can have one object which will hold four data. So we can have four, or we can have six objects. So we have six destinations, so we can have six objects and each object will have four values. The image, name, disc description and price. Can we do that? And the answer is yes. And that's the beauty of object oriented programming, right? We can create objects, but when you will do that. So basically uh, we will be using our very special cloud, a special file here, which is models.py. This is where you will create models. Again, the models which is available in Django is for a very specific purpose uh, to connect with database and stuff. So since we are not talking about database, let's stick to basic. So here I want to get a class and then we will create object of that. So my class name would be destinations. So again, uh, we have talked about this, everything in Python sessions. Uh, so we have talked about class and objects and here we'll create a class now. 
So let's say class and we'll name this class what? Destination, that should make sense. Okay, so we got class destination and here we want to create some variables. How many variables? Four, right? But we'll also add one more because in future we are going to connect this with database. Of course, uh, in every database table, we'll be having a primary key. So it makes sense to have an ID there. So let's also create a variable ID. We'll have a type as int. Let's have a name. This will be of type str. That's a destination name we have. Uh, we can also have image because image is there. Uh, so image will be str. Then we also need description. So we'll say description is str. And then we need one more thing, which is price, right? So we'll say price is, let's stick to int. We can also have it float, but then if you look at the prices now, it's all int. So let's stick to int. So we got destination, we got five fields there. But how will you create the object? This is only a model, okay? As of now, this is only a simple model. Uh, so it's a class which holds five variables. So if you want to instantiate them, if you want to get the object, you need to do that in views.py because this is where you are calling this index.html. So let's create those objects here. So, so basically we are not passing 24 values or 24 variables which I'm talking about. We are passing objects, right? Uh, so what I will do here is I will be creating an object for destinations. I will say destination one. So let's initially let's do for one, at least the, let's change that Bali part. So we'll say one of the first object and this is object of destination. But as you can see, it is not able to find the destination. It says undefined variable. So basically we have to import it from models. So we'll say from dot models import destination. So we are importing a destination here. Okay, this looks fun. Uh, we are not using this object, that's why we got a warning, but as of now, let's stick to it. Okay, so what I will do is, I will be passing this destination here. So I don't want to pass a price, I want to pass a destination. So I will say, single quote, I'm passing a destination. Let's say dest1, and the value itself is dest1, that's it. So basically, what we have is, we got an object which have no values to it. Okay, so this object has multiple variables, but then none of them has a value. But we, it will be having some default values, we don't care. The name would be something, price will be something, but it's, it's an object. So we are passing that object to the index.html. So in the index.html, how do you access it? So first of all, we have to reach where the Bali is. So you can see this is where the Bali is. Now if you are somewhere on top, if you, I will try to share this file with you so that you can just copy it. So instead of having this Bali here, I want to have Mumbai. Or maybe let's let's remove this Bali. I want the data to be dynamic. Uh, so what we can do is we have to use that those curly brackets again uh, because we are passing a variable. And we just have to say dest one dot name because the name now is not Bali. It's something which we pass. Let's verify if this is working. Let's go back to the page. Let's refresh. Oh, it worked. Can you see that? There's no Bali anymore, <laughs> okay. This is not what we wanted, right? We want, something went wrong. You know what went wrong? So basically we are not passing the value for the name. So how do we do that? It's very simple. You can simply say dest one dot, this time we have to assign a name. So we'll say name is, so why to go for Bali? We can go for Mumbai. So let's stick to Mumbai. So we are changing it to Mumbai now. Let's go back and say refresh. It worked. Can you see that we got Mumbai there? Okay, so that means we can change name. Can we change description? Yes, we can. Let's go back here and say dest one dot, description so in the description we can have the city that never sleeps right okay so we have changed the description let's go back and refresh okay something is not working you know because we are changing it here but not in the index or html let's do that so where is that so where's the description so this is where the description is so in the curly brackets we can say dest one dot description uh, let's go back and say refresh and you can see we got description as well so we got Mumbai, we got the description. Now we want the price as well. So what I will do now is go back to the views. So let's uh, let's set some, some more values. We can set the uh, name down price. Let's say price 700 here. Okay, just I'm going with random values here. Doesn't make sense. We don't want to uh, change the uh, stuff. So the values which I'm giving here is random. So let's go back to index.html. And here, let's say price should be dest one dot price. That's where the value is of price. And you can see we got 700. Okay, but I also want to change the image, right? We'll do that after some time, okay? So let's stick to values first. And I'll do that for all different objects here. So image is not changing because we have not done that yet. But let's change the data for all different places here. And let's stick to three places, okay? Let's remove all the extra one. Let's stick to the first three destinations just to make it easy. So what I will do is I will go back to my destinations and let's stick to three and let's remove the other part. So let's remove four, five and six 
and that's done so you can see we have removed those destinations let's verify once before going ahead let's refresh here and you can see we got three destinations that's great it is working so what we want is we want to make these three changes right so we so till this point we got mumbai but we have to also change destination for next two plus we also want to make the images dynamic but how will you do that that will see in the next video but before watching the next video i want you to complete this so what we can do is write the same code and then create two objects so the way we have done here you can see we got one object you can create two more objects one for the destination two and second for destination three okay uh, change the value and then pass those objects from here accept it in the index.html and then try it out and then we have done that in python right how to work with list of objects so make it work again we'll clarify that in the next video so that's it from this video everyone i hope you are enjoying this video in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos bye